Hello everyone. Let's study about the different theories of light in this lecture. Now from time immemorial, people have been observing light and many theories have been put forward to explain how the light would behave. Here we will look at the most important theories. The first theory is called as opuscular theory. The second theory is called as wave theory. The third one is called as determinant theory. And the fourth one is called as Einstein's theory. So these are the four important theories. Keep in mind that there are many more theories also, but these are the four important theories which were proposed by different scientists. So the corpus theory was given by Newton. The groundwork of it was done by scientists called as Descartes, but it was proponented prominently by Newton. Wave theory was given prominently by Christian Huygen. This chapter is about the wave theory of light only. So we will study this theory in detail in this chapter. And one more theory is called as Electromagnetic theory given by Max Bell. And the last theory or the latest theory is Einstein's theory as given by Einstein. This is the basis of quantum optics. So before going into this theory, let's look at some key points of this theories. Now, there are certain observed phenomena in nature from light. So first, let us list out the properties of light. The properties of light which are seen prominently are the first one is called as interference. So the first property is called as or rather it's not more basic properties called as reflection. The second property we call as refraction. Next property is called as interference and then diffraction and then polarization and something called as photoelectric effect. Now these are the basic properties. Keep in mind that there are many more properties than these, but these are the most commonly seen property. Now any theory which is proposed should explain all this absurd properties. So if a theory doesn't explain any of this property then that should be a failed theory or an incomplete theory. So let's look at the theories one by one. The first theory was given by Isaac Newton. It's called as it's called as Carr Pascular theory. So it's called as Carr Pascular theory. It's basically a theory which treats light like particles. So it's a particle nature theory. Now based on this theory, Einstein was able to explain certain properties. So Einstein was able to explain the properties like reflection was explained. So he was able to explain reflection and then refraction. But his theory couldn't explain interference diffraction these are not visible at time so or it couldn't explain these properties also which means einstein's newton's theory is a failed theory to understand more detail according to newton's theory light consists of small particles called as corpuscles so you assume that light contains small particles called as corpuscles now according to this theory these corpuscles would interact with matter 
for example imagine that there is like a medium something of this like a medium so according to this theory the corpuscles would interact with the medium you can think of these like the corpuscles so these would interact with the medium when they interact with the medium there will be a force of interaction between the molecules of the medium and this corpuscles now this force of interaction could be attractive or repulsive so the force of interaction between the corpuscles and the molecules of the substance could be attractive or repulsive suppose if the force is attractive then the corpuscles would go into the medium we call that as refraction so he explained saying that refraction is basically because of the attractive force between the corpuscles and this molecules the force is repulsive then it leads to reflection so this was the idea of reflection and refraction as given by newton but we know that it's a failed theory because it doesn't explain the other properties but this was a very very old property given in the 17th century the next important contribution was done by christian huygen it's called as christian huygen it's called as wave theory itself which means this theory treats light like a wave now be careful with the words what i'm using and listen carefully because i'm not saying light is a wave i'm saying light exhibits the wave property that's what huygen told the huygen told that wave exhibits or light exhibits a wave like property so it exhibits wave property so by his theory he was able to explain reflection and then refraction he even explained what is interference and then diffraction but he couldn't explain polarization and this was not applicable then which means this theory is an improvement over the previous theory but not a complete theory because even this theory doesn't explain polarization as well as dielectric effect in this chapter we will study this theory in detail the next theory was given by maxwell it's called as electromagnetic wave theory so given by james maxwell now this is an improvement over the previous theory again we will see what these are in other chapters for now understand it's a like a wave only but these electromagnetic waves not mechanical waves so his theory was able to explain properties like reflection and then refraction interference diffraction and polarization this is very very important but his theory couldn't explain polarity effect so this again is an incomplete theory because it is explaining most properties but not polarity effect to overcome this problem because at that time this property was a very very important phenomenon so people came with many theories to explain this phenomenon no one could explain satisfactorily and then finally einstein was able to explain for electric effect by his theory and then einstein consider light to contain photons which are called as packets of energy the idea of photons actually is given by uh, max planck but einstein used it to explain the theory so this means like a particle behavior not exactly particle like a particle like behavior so from his theory einstein was able to explain the properties like reflection refraction but his theory which is photon theory or particle theory was not able to explain interference diffraction and polarization but surprisingly he was able to explain fourier effect this is a very 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 important phenomenon because he got nobel prize for this alone Now, if you look at the nature the things around us are two kinds only so things around us are in the form of matter or radiation so there is not a single theory which explains all the observed properties if we consider it like a wave it explains most properties but not polarity effect 
if we consider light like a particle it couldn't explain the properties like interference diffraction and polarization because these are properties of waves which means a single theory is insufficient to explain the properties so what people assumed is people assume that light behaves in both the ways that is light exhibits both particle nature as well as wave nature and that's called as dual nature so dual nature means light exhibits both the properties so if we assume light to be dual nature then all the properties are explained so presently light is thought to exhibit both the properties keep in mind that light is not behaving like a particle or wave or wave it exhibits those properties so no one knows how light travels from a point to another point but it is known that light exhibits certain properties this is called as dual nature